What's going on guys? So I'm going to do a quick track review here, uh, and I know this came out like a week ago, but uh, I kind of like the Louis tea and I uh, thought I'd do a, a review of this, see how, it, uh, see how, we'll see what I thought of it. So I'm going to be doing Black Moon by Seller Darling. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So, you know, right off the bat, it starts off uh, pretty heavy and pretty dark. Uh, not like super doomy or anything like that, but definitely has kind of a uh, intense kind of definitely dark vibe to it. And the whole, uh, well, the where it shows like the band standing in the middle of the desert or whatever, the lighting, the way all the lighting is set up, I just it just reminded me of like a permanent desert sunset. And you know, it was kind of beautiful, but also kind of a little, I don't want to say unhappy feel but it definitely wasn't you know it, it gave you kind of a an ominous kind of feeling you know it, the lighting was really really beautiful very well done you know the color of the lighting and then you know all the the ways they showed uh the band from the different angles it was it was kind of beautiful because maybe it was sunset but it was also kind of intense like, i don't really know why but it just gave you kind of an intense feeling as well so that was uh, very interesting how they did the lighting there, and um, that was really good lighting, so I like that. And the vocals were very, very fitting. You know, like if, if they would have taken, you know, this uh, these style of vocals and put them like a different song or whatever, it probably wouldn't have fit too well. But the way the instruments were uh, written and the way she kind of uh, slides her voice, you know, a lot in the song sounded really good it actually flowed very very well usually i don't like when you know there are, there are a lot of you know slides in music and singers do a lot of slides but it actually worked pretty well here so that was that was very interesting they really uh they really made sure they complimented her vocal style and her vocal style complimented the instruments as well so that was really really cool as far as the lyrics the lyrics i really like the lyrics they were very uh, they were very epic but not in, you know, a typical power metal sort of way or anything like that. It was just more, I feel like the lyrics felt more epic because of the way they were delivered. But even, you know, if they'd been delivered, you know, because this totally could have been, you know, a, a solo operatic style song or something like that. But I think the way they were delivered in, the, in this uh, context of this genre just made them sound more epic. And it was really kind of a cool story, especially going along with the music video, you know, the lady leading all the all the people, you know, the nun and the the homeless guy and the the doomsayer guy and just leading them all to a fire and then, you know, the moon eclipses and then, you know, she's gone and they're all like, Oh, well, well then then that was weird, where'd she go? You know, it was kind of it was kinda of cool. It was really, really cool and I like um the part where all the all the instruments stop and then it just looks at like the moon lady and she just whispers black and then it goes like right to the chorus i was like wow that's an excellent transition and that was really cool and also kind of creepy so that was really cool uh yeah there's this one part where it's just bass and then it goes like right into a hurdy-gurdy solo which i i love you know like i'm still not quite sure what hurdy-gurdy is or how it works or anything like that but they're pretty cool so the hurdy gurdy solo was really awesome and then there's the part where it goes hey and then there's just like ch that chanting before it goes into the next part which i really enjoyed i like those where everything drops out and it's just you know like a vocal pattern or vocal effect of chanting or something like that that sounded really cool uh let's see what I'm yeah that's actually it uh this is really, really cool. I really enjoyed the song, and the video was very, very interesting to watch, and very pleasing to the eye. You know, it was shot very, very well. But, yeah. Excuse me. I actually like this a lot better than the first two songs they released. Like, I think it was about eight months ago when they first um, released some material. But, it sounds really, really good. It's not, you know, like, super, uh, super crazy, you know. Uh, instrument wise or vocal wise not super fast you know it's not tuned down like drop you know like E or anything like that it's mixed very well you know the bass sounds very good along with the guitars the drums sound good the vocals sound great um, the music video is very well done very well shot well edited 
and just it was a uh, it was a pleasure to look at and kind of just uh, see and kind of make different interpretation. I mean, it's not it's not a hard uh, plot or whatever to follow for the music video, but you could you could take it like a couple of different ways, maybe one or two or maybe three. I don't know. I haven't really thought too much through it yet. But the music video is very very uh, very very good and very true to the uh, the song. And it had a very epic air to it, but also a very ominous uh, quality as well. But it never felt too ominous or too, you know, epic. It was very, very balanced. You know, with the lighting and the daytime and the nighttime, and you know, the the, the lady in black riding on the white horse, and you know, the nun, and then the doomsayer, and then like the, the homeless dude, like tribal stuff on his face. And then, of course, shots of the band and just the facial expressions of the band as well as they were performing in the music video. It never went too far to one side. It was very, very, very balanced, which is very good. And the whole song was mixed well, of course, like I already said. Uh, Hurdy Gurdy was great. Uh, vocals were great. Really, really flowed with the song. It was like marble cake. The vocals and the, the instruments were like marble cake. So... Yeah, a uh, very interesting track. Definitely interested to see what else they come out with. Because the first two, I was like, okay, these are pretty good. And then this one came on, I was like, oh, okay, okay, cool. So, definitely, definitely interested to see what else they come out with. I'll put a link to the music video down in the description so you guys can check it out. And do let me know what you think, because this, uh, this was very interesting. You know, when they left, and I was looking at all the interviews, and they were saying what they were going to do, and all this kind of stuff, I was like, this is definitely definitely going to be interesting and uh yeah it's very interesting actually very intriguing and very uh grabbing so yeah go check it out let me know what you think and yeah if you guys like these videos give me a like give me a comment or you subscribe thank you all for watching and rock on